How many of you ever seen this message on your auto mower? Um, today I'm going to go over a few things that you can check out to um, kind of fix this on your own or let you know if you've got to take it to a dealer for further assistance and have it checked out. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to start out by checking all four corners of this body. Make sure they're snapped down onto the joystick controllers just to give a good, good little push on them. Um, if you hear a, a pop like that, that's it coming off. That's it going down one. If you know all four corners are secure, then the next thing you want to look at and what uh, is usually the problem on these uh, 2016, early 2017 models, right in here under your charging plates, back this up a little bit, um, you know, directly under the nose of the machine where it goes into the charging station. This plate here, if it is black plastic, then uh, there's a good chance that you lost this little magnet right here. This little barrel shaped magnet um, will come out, it'll get lost, it'll get in there sideways. If it does, it's gonna screw everything up. Uh, it works with the, um, the uh, lift sensors and the collision sensors. And anytime anything happens to one of those magnets, it thinks that the body is completely missing or just lifted off or just not secured right. Um, causes the whole mower to stop and just won't let it run. Makes it think, think that it was in some kind of uh, a collision. So you get the, uh, the fault code that we saw there in the beginning. And <clears throat> I'll show you one of these here with the magnet missing out of it. This is what it looks like when the magnet's missing. Just completely open air in the front. Um, sometimes it'll get broken. Sometimes it'll just fall out, you know, if it hits something too hard. Um, so best thing you can do in this situation is just contact your dealer and tell them you need the upgraded white plastic magnet holder for the front of your auto mower. It comes with two magnets in there instead of the one. And it sits a little bit further away from the, uh, the chassis of the mower. So it's a little bit more secure. Don't have near the amount of problems. Actually, I haven't had any problems with these so far. I mean, I personally haven't. But um, that's all there is to it. Just get a hold of your dealer and tell them you need this. And if you do look under there and you already have this, this uh, white plastic magnet holder or your magnet is still in your old black one, if it's still in there, there's a possibility for somehow it might have got flipped upside down, you know, if uh, somebody was playing around with it or something. But um, even if the magnet is in there, it's still a good idea to upgrade to this white plastic one. But like I was saying, if you have this white plastic one and both magnets are in there and this thing's not broken and you're still having that active collision sensor fault and the mower won't run, then you need to take it to the dealer because they're going to have to split it open and check out some stuff inside of it. So, but just an idea of what to look for when you have that problem because I know a lot of people have been running into it lately and calling us and asking what they should do and how to go about figuring it out. So there you have it. That's all you need to know.